Okay, yeah. Let's do that. Bye. Oh. Hello again. This is Andrew from DPS TV. And today I'm outside near a cell tower. Now, as you know, cell towers are used to make phone calls. But did you also know that you can get voice alerts about your network alarms via the cell network? Today I want to talk to you about two new DPS RTUs that have cell antennas on the back of them. The NetGuardian Cell Voice 16 and the NetGuardian Cell Voice 4 generate a custom voice message, send it out to the cell tower, direct to your phone, either your cell phone or your landline. So I've got the DPS engineering department standing by to answer some of my questions. Let's get to it. I'm here now with Mark, Director of Engineering at DPS, and he's going to tell us a bit more about the NetGuardian Cell Voice 16 and the NetGuardian Cell Voice 4. So uh, first of all, Mark, I just want to know, why has the cellular and voice technology been combined here in the NetGuardian platform? Well, it, it made sense to do so. First, we had both. We had a, um, an RTU that can do a dial-up and give you voice notification. Um, and we also had wireless technology. So it made sense that we would have a wireless product that could do a voice call to your cell phone or any telephone for that matter. Alarm status is alarm, severity, critical, description, power fail, site, Fresno CO, date and time February 2nd, 5.32 p.m. So for viewers who aren't familiar with the, the traditional NetGuardian voice products. How do you go about configuring the voice alerts and the various other properties on these NetGuardians? That's a, that's a great question. We have a very easy to use uh, utility. It's a Windows utility and it will um, enable you to configure your alarm points with various text just as you normally would so you can have that see that text in your web browser interface but also that text is used um, with text-to-speech technology. It goes to our website with one-click download and it'll convert all those, all those text strings into actual voice, and then that's what gets stored onto the, to the remote, so if that alarm were to occur, it knows what to say when you get called. So does that mean you do have an empty text field and you can type pretty much what you want? Absolutely, it's very, very configurable, and, there's, and it's not just for the alarm descriptions, but also for things like severity and, and other parameters that might be associated with alarm that might be important to you. So you'll get all that when you, when you get a cell phone call. Okay. Now, if we've got somebody configured to be the person getting these cell phone voice alerts, you know, let's say that it's the middle of the night and there's some kind of critical alert, uh, how does that work? I mean, what happens then? Well, we, we, we support lots of different um, configuration options for um, basically call lists, and you can have more than one call list if you need to, but uh, let's say the first person doesn't answer or doesn't respond. You can configure the device so it'll make another call to another person mm -hmm. and, um, and, and keep going down the call list until it gets an acknowledgment. And, even if, let's say nobody answers and there's no acknowledgement, there's other ways that this product can notify um, your team that there's a problem through other methods other than a uh, voice call. So that's interesting. Tell me a bit more about combinations of notification methods. Um, well, the, the product um, can either have a wireless interface or it can also have a dial-up interface. So let's say for whatever reason it wasn't able to call um, through the dial-up interface, um, you can maybe use the wireless as like a backup. And so maybe you don't want to incur uh, charges one way or the other. So there's different ways um, that you can use the product. Now I know most NetGuardians output SNMP over LAN. Will these voice products also have that interface? Absolutely. If, it, if you um, buy it with the LAN option, um, it, can, it can certainly, you know, you can web browse to it, but you also can do SNMP uh, via the LAN interface. So if someone thinks that this seems like a technology they might be interested in, what's the best next step there? Absolutely. You contact our uh, DPS Telecom sales team, mm -hmm. and um, they will start putting together a, um, a proposal of what your exact needs are, and we can package the product um, most likely to, to, fit, your, to uh, your, fit your environment. Great. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Mark. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay. Well, this is Andrew for DPS TV signing off.